All right, and it looks like we are live. Hello, hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Digital. My name is Junior, and I am here to give you all the great news that we have that's going on in our digital world. Today's date is Monday, August the 29th, and we have a good number of articles to go through here today. Also, it is Monday, so we have the merchandise of the week, I guess, or merchandise Mondays, as we like to call it. The first thing that I have here is Subway. Subway is doing something or has done something that's uh, actually pretty awesome, pretty cool uh, using augmented reality. Then the next thing that we have here uh, is about New York Fashion Week. They have the um, you know Fashion Week going on and it's actually pretty cool because they have a couple of airdrops, NFTs and stuff like that that has some real utility to them. The next thing that I have here for you guys today is going to be about Industrial Week. Industrial Week 2022 is coming up this week, and I want to make sure that you guys are aware of it in case you want to attend and join. And the last thing that I have for you guys today is going to be about working inside of the metaverse. What do people think about it? How will they react to it when the company says they either do want you to work inside of the metaverse or even don't want you to work inside of the metaverse? Uh, so stay tuned and we'll, we'll jump right into it. <laughs> All right, welcome back everybody. So the first thing that I have for you guys here today is Subway. So Subway has created a 3D interactive billboard at Westfield. Now this interactive billboard is probably nothing like you've ever seen before. I know a lot of people have seen uh, some of those billboards that have been around that actually play like some sort of 3D holographic thing attached to it. But this one actually takes it a step further. It makes it more interactive interactive meaning that you can actually interact with it in some way shape or form this way that they're doing it is with their cell phone and i'm going to play the video here real quick i think it's like a minute and a half or something like that and play this video and let you guys see what it looks like and then we'll jump back into it So here you go, pretty much just the standard, you know, 3D holographic animation going on on the billboard screen. Of course, looks amazing, looks awesome. But as you can see over there on the left hand side of the screen, they have a QR code. Now watch what they do with this QR code. And these animators are really getting good. So now here, this guy, he scanned that QR code I mentioned to you. Now he can actually build his own sub. And his sub is being built right in front of him, right in front of everybody else using that QR code uh, right there on that billboard screen now. Everything he adds, he gets added directly to it. He even has his name on it, Baxter Sub. And the sub gets delivered right to him. Thank you. So much. It's one you just made. Enjoy. <laughs> not going to lie that is probably the most immersive interactive use of a billboard I have ever seen <laughs> in my entire life um, you can't you really can't get any better than that and I hesitate to say that because I know with all this technology they are finding ways to make it bigger and finding ways to make it better and I never even imagine uh, being able to use the technology in that way to where you can actually create your own sub have it being played on a billboard, have your name up on the actual billboard and the subway be brought right out to you. Uh, that, in my opinion, is just amazing. Kudos to Subway for that. I don't know if their um, stock price is going to go up because of it, but they definitely should uh, get some sort of award for that one. These businesses, these companies, 
these major brands are really taking it a step forward with the uh, uh, AR technology, VR technology, and so on and so forth. All right, so the next thing that we guys have here today is a uh, article from Glossy, glossy.co, and it's all about NYFW, which is just the uh, uh, New York Fashion Week here. And um, they're actually, it's, it's a couple of things that's going on with this. So New York Fashion Week is coming up, um, I want to say this week. Oh, but I'm not sure if I passed the actual date or not. Okay, nope, I did not miss it here. So the actual date for it is September 8th through September 12th, 2022. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go back and double check that uh, before I misspoke. But yeah, so with the New York Fashion Week, what they're doing is adding in NFTs to it. And of course, you know, I've got to touch on it. And they have their own uh, hub for NFTs. And they have a bunch of the cool creators, fashion creators, that uh, fashion designers that uh, have added the NFT aspect to their products. And they're going to be basically giving them out to the people, uh, selling them to them as well. And this is all being done by a company called Afterpay. I think it's Afterpay. Um, double check. Yep, Afterpay here. And Afterpay is just a basically buy now, pay later kind of service where, you know, they, they basically do layaway for like digital items and stuff like that. Anything you buy online, uh, you can use Afterpay. You can use, a, I think another company is called Klarna. I know it starts with a K, but I can't remember the exact little name. Uh, if you type in Afterpay into Google, the competitors will pop up also for sure. But yeah, so what you can actually do is purchase some of these NFTs through um, uh, this hub here that they have. And this hub is just the keys.nyfw.com. And this hub is actually just going to be the place where all of these uh, NFTs are being held currently for you to mint. And they have a bunch of good creators, a bunch of the good designers out there as well. Uh, Altu is one of them, an only child. I'm actually going to click on these so you can see what you get with them because it's actually really, really cool. Some of these um, utilities that come with these NFTs once you buy them. Jonathan, Sinke, Kim Shui, The Blondes, uh, Afterpay, of course, there. And I believe that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought it was uh, that was like ten total. Let me double check that. Um, yeah, the brand includes some of the have previously launched NFTs. Joseph Alteraza, Altu, Jonathan Sinke, as well as an only child, Kim Shui, and the Blondes. The unique NFT keys allow customers to unlock access to one-off fashion week experiences and exclusive products growing the use case for nfts as membership access afterpay was named the presenting sponsor for nyfw in may last year in a multi-year deal aimed at making the event more democratized uh, so what essentially what's going to happen is that each one of these designers are going to have 25 separate keys each key is going to be worth a hundred dollars uh, and then they're going to come with certain perks. So it could be, um, where was that at? Runway shows that you can attend. You can get some of their clothing. Uh, these one-off clothing that they make for these fashion shows, you can get those. Um, I did like this part too. All of the proceeds from the designer's NFT will be donated to the Free Arts NYC nonprofit that brings art and mentoring programs to children in the New York City's underserved communities. That's amazing, that's awesome there. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to actually go through, I don't think there's anything else on here. I'm actually going to go through the website and just kind of show you guys what you get if you get one of their NFTs here. So, <clears throat> let's say, for example, you wanted to go to Altu and you wanted to purchase one of the NFTs, you'll click that button there. And, of course, you get here. So, for them, you get an annual membership to one of the New York City's premier art museums with a curated exhibition list from Joseph. Or you can get one that is the signature Altu tote and oversized fit necklace t-shirt. I uh, don't think they have, this is just what the, 
okay so you do have an image of it so yeah there's an oversized t-shirt and the tote there and again looks like oh wow so it looks like there's two remaining for the um in real life nyfw experience and two remaining for the designer keepsake as well uh, for an only child we'll click on purchase so you would get a ticket to an only child nyfw after party event or you would get the limited edition signature leather lignum vitae pouch let's see if they have the pouch yep there it is oh that looks pretty nice it's not bad um oh wow so <laughs> so you get zero or you can't even purchase the nft for the in real life experience there's none of those left but they do have five left for his pouch though looks like a lot of people will want to go to that party event afterwards instead of actually buying the pouch so um uh, there's not that many i think i'll just scroll through all of them here real quick Let's see what they offer so that you guys know before you go to it uh for jonathan simke an invitation to a private meet and greet shopping event at jonathan simke nyc flagship store that's probably already gone and or you can get the designer keepsake which is a limited edition framed and signed print featuring a sketch from the season's runway show um okay so you get this sketch there cool cool so yeah, I already told you <laughs> that in real life experience that's gone, but there's five remaining for the print. Scroll down to the next one, Kim Shui. Hope I'm saying the name right too. Uh, so for this one, you get ticket to uh, Kim Shui's NYFW runway show, or for the designer keepsake, you can get a hoodie featured featuring a dragon motif in an oversized fit. I would actually want that. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's not bad. I would actually want that. Oh, wow. So both of hers are, are I'm assuming it's a she, Kim. Uh, both of hers are gone. Can't even purchase any of her NFTs anymore. I got to jump on this ASAP. ASAP. That looks amazing. Um, I guess I could just click up here. Click on the blondes. And they each basically develop their own keys for it also, which is actually really nice. Pretty cool. Uh, the blondes, you get a ticket to the blondes after party following their show at the NYFW, or you can get a signed copy of the blondes new book, The Blondes Glamour, Fashion, and Fantasy. And looks like, as I imagine, the in real life experience is completely gone, and the um, uh, signed book is for remaining on that. And then for Afterpay, let's see what they have to offer. Uh, that's a cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool there too. Uh, looks like they oh so a six month title high five plus trial subscription invite to RSVP to attend NYFW the talks programming and lastly invite to the NYFW close friends group on Instagram. Interesting, and as we can bet, this no more remaining on that one. And this one was a free one. This was I might actually just click on claim anyway and see what happens. I'll probably do it later. Um, so yeah, so yeah, you guys let me know what you think about that. If you have not gotten into these NFTs yet and you love fashion, you're into fashion, I would definitely say go ahead and check that out. Um, again, it's a hundred bucks. If you don't have a hundred bucks, guess what? Afterpay will be allowing you to pay like $25 a month on it. And I mean, that's not bad at all uh, to get a real life experience with this New York Fashion Week or to get a NFT to actually come with some real utility back behind it as well because I'm pretty sure these uh, designers, fashion designers and stuff like that will be able to provide more. I believe I read in the article that it was saying that um, the person with the NFT who bought it first will have all the access to all the good stuff, but then it's built into the smart contract that if you resell it, the second person does not get that. So be the first for sure. All right, and again, today is Merchandise Monday, so I want to talk to you guys about the Merchandise of the Week. And this one is actually from Meta. So Meta is coming out with their latest VR headset. I think, I don't know if you've heard about it uh, lately, but we've been calling it Project Cambria. Now, Project Cambria has an actual release date, and it's supposed to be coming out in October. And the reason why this is going to be the, I guess, merchandise for this week, Merchandise Monday, is because the oculus 2 i have that one it is awesome it is pretty pretty amazing even though i was uh, uh hesitant to actually get it 
But now with this Project Cambria coming out, this next VR headset, they have been doing a whole lot more technology uh, advancements on it. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually coming out to be pretty amazing. Uh, again, some people are calling it Cambria. Some people are calling it the Quest Pro. Um, but it has been said that uh, it is coming here this quarter, or I guess technically next quarter, October is Q4 for the year. But um, uh, you can kind of get a quick glimpse of it here. So if you haven't already purchased your you know, VR headset or anything like that, I've mentioned it back in another podcast, uh, not podcast, in another episode that the Quest 2 prices has went up $100. So it used to be, I believe, um, $299 and $399 starting off last uh, month. Or I think that August 1st or something like that, they actually went up $100. So it's now $399 and $499. The Project Cambria seems to possibly be a little bit higher than that. It looks to be possibly $800. Again, this is all speculation. We won't know until the official launch um, is set in place and everything but you can kind of get a feel for what you might have to pay for there and also a feel for what they have to offer. Uh, they did announce this on Joe Rogan's podcast, I believe, uh, which says it's nearly three hours. I myself will not be listening to that at any time soon, um, but I heard some really good things. I'll just wait for like the highlights to hit social media, which again, this is just one of them. Um, and I, I, I highly urge you guys get into VR now rather than later um, because it is coming and um, it looks like there's no stopping. There's a lot of good things coming around these VR headsets. All right, so the next thing that I have here for you guys today is the Industrial Immersive Week. Industrial Immersive Week is actually this week, August 29th through the 31st, and they are going to be having a large, large event with a lot of really big names. You can kind of see down here uh, all of these industrial and energy and engineering immersive tech slash 3D leaders of the world. You've got uh, ASME, you've got API, ABS, you got CAT, um, you got BP, you've got Dow, Energy, Energy Transfer, Duke Energy, Exxon Mobil. Yeah, a lot of big names here. I think that's yeah, Shell's logo there. NRG, Kinder Morgan, Koch, Turner Industries, Valero, Westinghouse. Yeah, so there's a lot of really big names here for this energy edge tech or um, uh, industrial immersive week here. And um, it's gonna include the Industrial XR Forum and co-located co events are going to be Industrial Digital T Twin Summit and also the Energy Edge Tech Summit. If you want to attend, you would go to the website. And then see all of the good things that they have to offer here. Um, these are a couple of the uh, scheduled items here. A deep dive, launching and scaling XR across the enterprise, roadmap to XR in the metaverse. Um, that is the 29th, Tuesday the 30th. Let's see what they have there. Energy drone and robotics, wood. Um, improving safety and efficiency with connected worker technology, XR use cases in energy and beyond. Digital twins are useless for remote inspections or are they? From the classroom to the job site, VR partnerships drive adaption and use, XR and end user roundtable, finding the limits of standalone VR. XR goes commercial, Exxon Mobil, building a, and scaling a digital re realty ecosystem, 3D spatial recording for XR projects, safety training in VR. I mean, it's a lot, a lot of good things going on here. It's like a, a full day pack. What's time is five ten, so it ends at five ten, and it's or it ends at like at six something. I guess the last event it starts at five ten, and it starts at like eight thirty a.m. on Tuesday, Wednesday it starts at nine a.m. and pretty much the same ordeal. You're there until at least about four thirty five o'clock. Accelerating B two B adoption of augmented reality, 
leveraging photorealistic digital twins, how XR tech can com com impact your enterprise culture and workforce, base weapons, loading training with VXR, uh, making oil and gas facilities safer and more efficient with digital twins and VR training. So a lot of VR training going on, a lot of AR technology making things safer. You can't touch this incorporating haptics into the industrial <laughs> metaverse. Uh, again, haptics is the base ability to feel within uh, VR, essentially uh, unleashing fully immersive multi-user wireless XR experiences. NASA holoportation to the ISS International Space Station holoportation. Holoportation, it's an amalgam, 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 I gotta look up that word, I don't even know what that word is, <laughs> um, of hologram and teleportation, and it isn't a niche sci-fi term buried somewhere in Isaac Asimov novels and Star Trek episodes. Uh, they wanted to bring flight surgeon Dr. Joseph, Joseph, Schmid onto the International Space Station while he was safely planted onto our planet. No rockets necessary. Schmid was joined on his trans-dimensional journey by Fernando Fernando de la Peña Laca, the CEO of AXA Aerospace, an organization that helped develop the holoportation equipment, and a few other team members. It's a brand new way of human exploration where our human entity is able to travel off the planet. Our physical body is not there, but our main entity absolutely is there. I'm going to look more into that because it sounds like it already happened and I did not know that. Um, so, yeah, so you guys take a look at that as well. See what you guys uh, would be interested in looking into. I myself, as you can probably imagine, is into that the holoportation thing there um but yeah so with that being said we're going to go ahead and jump over into our last article and this one again is all about working inside of the metaverse so we have a article here from sprout social which by the way sprout social is a amazing uh what i want to call them content management slash content um posting software essentially uh, I'm, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I've used Sprout Social before in the past uh, and still do from here and there uh, for like scheduling posts on social media and whatnot. And they are they are definitely one of the top best. I would I would I almost recommend them highly uh, as the number one in the uh, in the industry for that. Um, but yeah, so they have a whole article here again. This is called working in the metaverse virtual reality brings real world engagement. And the reason why this actually came out is because it had a mid year, um, meetup as they call it and their mid year, uh, mid year meetup. They actually was not able to, it sounds like they were not able to bring all of their employees to the mid year meetup because again, as you grow as a company, it's kind of hard to pay for everybody's hotel, pay for everybody's travel uh, accommodations, pay for everybody's food and stuff like that. Uh, and if the employees are not able to come due to whatever, whatever reason, uh, it's kind of hard to get them all together. So they are basically saying, Hey, how about us meeting virtually? How would that work out for us and stuff like that? And they kind of ran some numbers and found that it would actually be more beneficial to them to do that, you know, from here and there. Um, here's another thing that they ran, how consumers and brands anticipate emerging tech playing a role in their interactions over the next 12 months. Basically just saying that how will consumers interact with this emerging technology and how will marketers Im uh, interact with this emerging technology. And as you can see here on the right hand side, marketers are like heavily, heavily, heavily into it, um, way more than consumers are. And NFTs are at the lowest portion of it only because again, there's a lot of um, confusion going around with these NFTs in which people are not fully understanding how they could be used or what they could use it for. They just think it's a you know JPEG image uh, of a <laughs> board apron or whatever and that is not the case so that they're not really looking forward to that they're looking forward more to vr ar xr which 
I myself am looking more forward to that as well. They see the benefit of cryptocurrency. Again, there's a lot of people that got millions of dollars on Bitcoin and Ethereum, stuff like that. But NFTs, not so much. And, you know, the metaverse is kind of like right there in the middle. Uh, but as you can see here, marketers are pretty much the same way in that sense. Looking at VR, looking at AR, looking at XR. Uh, you just saw what Subway was doing with their AR technology. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that's going on with these NFTs as well, as we mentioned just here in the New York Fashion Week. Um, so, yeah, so with this article, they just basically talk about how, and where is it? Okay, yeah, here it is. Uh, working inside the metaverse, uh, a couple of key things about it connecting outside the conference room is one, uh, so that you'll be able to essentially leave the office without leaving the office. So for example, if you had some sort of business meeting or I think what they mentioned was opening up a new store, like a flagship store in another state, another country, whatever, you don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars just to travel over there to open up the store. You can actually open up a store and be in there present using VR technology. Uh, another thing would be fostering more equitable engagement. So a lot of people, have been engaging with one another through Zoom. Uh, now they don't have to just talk to each other through through Zoom. Um, you could still be at home and still engage with each other, just as if you were inside of the office place as well. Uh, and then the last thing here that they mentioned was going where you feel most productive. So instead of uh, actually working from home, because you know sometimes home is not the best place to work, and then you go to the office, and an office is not the best place to work. Well, where would you rather work? If you are one of those type of people that would like to go work inside the Amazon rainforest, then hey, you can throw on a VR headset, be inside the Amazon rainforest, and bring your laptop with you. You can't exactly bring your whole entire computer to the beach because you know you'll get sanded and all that stuff. But what if you could actually be at the beach without being at the beach? Uh, is what they're saying, and a lot of people it seems like are actually feeling um, like this is a really good thing. Of course, there are going to be people that don't think this is a good thing as well. Um, I think in, I think somewhere in this article, they kind of touch on the other side of it as well. Um, how it can, you know, slow down productivity. But uh, I definitely want to know what you guys think about that. In my opinion, working inside of the quote unquote metaverse, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Again, we've been able to transition from normal office working spaces uh, once the pandemic happened to not so normal anymore. That's actually becoming more normal. A lot of people um, are more expecting when they're getting into a job or when they're looking for a job that, hey, we want this to be at least hybrid. We want to spend some time in the office, but also spend some time at home. Uh, and then a lot of people are saying, hey, we don't even want to do hybrid. We just want to do 100% remote. Like there should be remote positions at every single job. Um, and that's just, you know, the way that the, the tables are turning, the technology is there. So why not? Um, but yeah, so what do you guys think about that? Please let me know in all of the, uh, in the comments here on all of these articles. Again, the links to all of these will be inside the description for this video. Check all of them out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if anybody plans on attending New York fashion week, let me know how that goes for sure. And, um, uh, the industrial week as well. Let me know how you guys uh, plan to attend that and you know what what comes of that as well uh, hit me up on my social media channels I look forward to speaking with you all and sharing more of this cool new innovative technology with you and until next time tomorrow I'll see you guys later have a great one